All right, thank you, Kyle. Not long ago, mid-Michigan experienced an on-campus shooting when James Davis Jr. was accused of shooting and killing both of his parents at Central Michigan University as they picked him up at his dorm in March of 2018. That shooting has been on the minds of CMU police ever since as they work to prevent future acts of violence. TV5's James Felton shows us how security measures have evolved on campus. It was a tragedy when it occurred. Central Michigan University Police Lieutenant Mike Sinkevich was on campus March 2nd, 2018. That day, a CMU student shot and killed his parents inside a residence hall. It allowed us to learn a lot about uh, the security systems and how to stay safe here on campus and uh, where, we, where we could improve as well. Part of that improvement, have more eyes on campus. Sinkevich tells us about half of the outdoor area on campus is within the vision of a camera. Over the years, we've added a lot of cameras to our campus that help us have an idea of what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis. 1,300 cameras that have been strategically placed both indoors and outdoors. There have also been security upgrades at numerous buildings throughout campus, with more planned in the future. And Sinkevich tells us that many buildings and all of the residence halls on campus can be put into secure mode with a touch of a button. We tested it a couple weeks ago and it was instant. I, I, was, uh, I was on the phone uh, with dispatch. I could hear him push it and at the same time the door is secured. So there, there was absolutely no delay and, and we know that that's, that seconds count in an emergency. Drones are also part of CMU's security plan. Sinkevich tells us they're not used every day only when necessary. When large events are happening on our campus, when we have critical incidents that are occurring on campus in our community, uh, we help to have that as an extra tool uh, to help understand what's going on in real time. Sinkevich is quick to point out CMU collaborates with area law enforcement agencies and first responders in an effort to provide the best response possible. When something bad's happen, uh, nobody cares what the uniform is. They just want somebody to come and, and help keep them so safe. Reporting in Mount Pleasant, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.